It's closed. <laughs> How do you feel about that? I get my parking space back in my garage. Heck yeah! yeah. <laughs> Total cost, an hour and zero dollars. Inconceivable. Think angry redhead thoughts. It's not easy, but with a little practice we can close it. Ryan's Mobile One. So we're in a Jeep Liberty. This one has some problems with the sunroof, namely it doesn't close, which is a problem because we've been having rain like almost every day. So here's what happens. This is what it sounds like. Maybe you can relate. Maybe your car's making the same noise. We're going to tear into it and see if we can uh, pinpoint what it is. Before, it won't close. It's completely stuck. When you turn the key on, it does this. So it goes chick, chick, chick. <laughs> Pretty excited. So when you push a button, it goes back a little or forward a little, as you can see here. Just like a half inch is all it does. And it does that when you turn the car off. It's possessed. Go like that. Push up the back. A little bit of a security problem. We just won't put the uh, license plate on the internet. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> easy. Like sweat running down my brow. <laughs> it's not that easy. And now watch what happens when you hit the button. Key's in the on position. <laughs> Nothing. That's perfect. <laughs> nice and quiet. <laughs> Turn the key off and... <sighs> Nothing. <laughs> No rain, no noise, no problem. So we're gonna tear into it and see what it takes. You wanna pull your A-pillar stuff down, you just get a screwdriver on the side of it, they'll squish out of the way, and then it'll kinda reveal what else needs to happen. You gotta pull this off because the headliner's here. We gotta drop the headliner in order to get to the sunroof. You might benefit from these, I'll leave a link in the description. You have to click show more. I can't put these links in the comments anymore. Google's too greedy, they want all the money. <laughs> I get a little kickback, doesn't cost you anything, helps out the channel. 6.5 millimeter, do you have one of those? Maybe you do, maybe you don't. I'll leave a link in the description. Take that socket, get on the screw. Let's pull it out, it's just hexagonal. Uh, these have a little magnet in the very bottom of them. I need more angle. Giving her all she's got, Captain. There you go. Coming straight at the steering wheel, but we got her. That's kind of fun, huh? The whole A-pillar cover comes off all from just those two screws. No clips at all. That's actually not a bad design. I bet it's easy for them to put together. It's cheap to assemble. It's easy to work on and you get rid of all your rattles with two screws. This is not an expensive car, but it's an efficient little thing. <laughs> Rides nice. All right, so look at all that. That probably could be smoothed out, huh? There we go. So you can see the headliner ends there. Well, we've got handles here that we've got to pull off. Each of them has a little cover like this, and there's a little spot for a screwdriver. Just got to pop these out. These are not a cover. These actually slide out like this, and it's like a push-pull pin, like the body tabs that you find on a radiator shroud. So they give you a little spot that you can hook into. You pull it like that, and then give it a yank, and you're out. On non-German or Chrysler vehicles, you'll have a screw and a cover instead. But here's how this system works. When you push this, it expands out like that and holds it into place. What will they think of next? And then basically all you're doing is you're just sliding it out like this. And that allows these two to pinch together and come out and they give. These sun visors are keeping that headliner up, so you gotta get the screws out. They're a Torx. So you can just put it like that. You see you zip all of these out. Uh, this just pulls down. You just use a couple of fingernails, and you've got an cat. <laughs> it's got like this rainbow ribbon hanging out of it. Uh, we gotta pop this out of here. Uh, to do these, you've got a little clip on the side here, so you just use a screwdriver to just pop those out. Just lift it up and off. Push into the tabs like that it should just come out that's the frame of it and all you have to do is just the frame because we're just pulling the headliners what we're doing uh one button stayed there so we're going to pull it off and just try to get them to stay together so this is a switch for the sunroof you just take a little dental pick or something go pry on it a little bit on one side a little on the other side and then get a little pressure and it will let go just like that so the size for all these is t15 
this screws through. If you pull down on it, it holds the screw and everything together. Otherwise, you may be chasing these under the seat or who knows where. Parts unknown, that's what I'm saying. Be nice if we had a new one because this one's busted. Oh, you want to support your visor for the last one? Make sure your hands are clean for this part. You look at your vanity thing. If you've got a little light that comes on, be prepared for that wire. If you feed it out just a little bit, you'll find the plug. Uh, push tab is so stinking little. I don't like dangling it by the wires, but I'm not an octopus. I have two hands. True facts about not being an octopus. <laughs> it's been replaced twice already. Oh, has it? Yeah. Keeps breaking because it's just opposite what you think. You got to push it forward to get it off. And oh, if you get a, so everybody pulls back. Everybody pulls back. They keep pulling and don't fight it. Don't understand why it's not coming. <laughs> okay, this thing's like holding on with no screws. How is it done? Fish that up and over. Dental picket. Why is everybody dental picking on me? The front is pretty much all undone. So the headliner's got kind of a plastic bracket. Again, the T15, same one when we did the headliner. You gotta pull these screws out, and as you do, watch how this separates. You see that gap being created? So this thing is screwed in by a bracket that's in the headliner. Helps keep it rigid. That way as people, you're not gonna believe this, but people will actually grab the track. <laughs> It's bad because there's grease and dirt in here and these headliners stay easy. So don't grab the track. It just seems like a fun place to put your hand. So it's actually glued on to these little guys here. Look at all the glue in there. They just spray everything with glue when they go to put this in. So be advised if it doesn't come down at first. But there's a lot that's just glued on. This applies to aftermarket sunroofs. Okay, you're not going to believe this, but as you go back from where the visor comes in, you can feel a screw right here. You have to have some spray adhesive to put this back together. But you peel this off, and just kind of work it nice and easy. If you pull too hard or too much, you're going to run into a, a separate problem. And that separate problem is just having it hang because it's like uh, stretched out. You don't want to stretch it. But if you feel in here, there's actually a screw. This is an aftermarket that somebody did to this. It's a screw that's holding this headliner on. You can see the screw behind there. Once you get those hidden screws, you're good. Well, you can see I've got the one on this side same story you can't pull it down it's like it resists and resists once it's out you're good coming in from the back door you can feel that there's a little tab up in here oh there it is found it so if i trace around you can see there's a little hollow spot and you look up inside you pull the foam down you see that little black tab if you use a pry bar and you pull that out and it looks like this it's basically like those oh crap bars that we pulled out of here uh, you pop those out and then there's a whole bunch of screws along the back that are this format starting from the steering wheel and going back you can see we got this big old hole this is the cassette you can see the carpet from the slide so you got to unplug the motor there go ahead and unplug it you see you got another nyan cat thing going on there it's our rainbow color thing yeah no 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 power there we go so now you don't hear the noise going, but we still have to cut these cables. These cables go to pulleys that pull that closed. And once you have a plastic pulley break, you have to replace this whole assembly. So rather than pulling that down and taking it apart and everything, do you got the cutters? I got you the got cutters. Two here, two there. Don't cut your drain hoses. But this black one. Never the black one. Never the black one, just the gold one. Go for the gold, Jeff. Going for the gold. Ready for it? <laughs> yeah, get it. It's not going to cut easy, by the way. No, it's not. <laughs> it's got a sleeve on it. <laughs> it is so tough. All right, how about if I give it a try? Yeah, you give it a try. All right. Think angry redhead thoughts. Release your inner redhead. Chew on it, wiggle it. Dogs, dog-like. Damn. <laughs> so we got one left to go. I find if I get way down on the handle and way up in pushing hard on it. These are GB brand. I'll leave a link in the description. <laughs> So with all of those cut, we should be able to get that to slide forward. Still kind of stuck. We might have a tr nope, we're good. So I'm manually pushing down the air dam. So you can see it's nice and tight here. And then this isn't all the way up, but it's pretty close. So if I shove this down on each side, I won't break it, but you got to push hard to get it to go. So that's the sunroof. Somewhat retracted. And then we can pull it forward again. It's hard because this thing, I don't know if you've ever pushed down on your air dam. This is what keeps your sunroof going smooth so that the air jumps over it instead of like getting all turbulent. Go like that. 
push up the back. That's all there is to that. A little bit of a security problem. We just won't put the uh, license plate on the internet. <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> easy. Like sweat running down my brow. <laughs> it's not that easy. So it's not easy, but with a little practice we can close it. Cool. So we had to pull the stinking headliner down so we could get to the cables and cut them. When it's in this up position, it won't go back, it'll stay closed. So we're going to put the headliner back in. Now, the reason why I'm explaining all this is that there are screws, as you saw earlier, that go in here. So you have to have this open in this position. Uh, to put the headliner back in once it's in then we'll close this before it won't close it's completely stuck and after it's totally closed now the ring won't get in and now watch what happens when you hit the button he's in the on position <laughs> nothing that's perfect <laughs> nice and quiet <laughs> turn the key off and <sighs> nothing <laughs> No rain, no noise, no problem. No fuss, no muss. It's closed. How do you feel about that? I get my parking space back in my garage because my son's <laughs> car I can pull out now. Heck yeah! yeah. <laughs> <laughs>